Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Matt Jensen, and I'm with UMedia Chicago at the Harold Washington Library Center. Um, and I'm going to show you today how to use the Silhouette Cameo to make a vinyl sticker. Um, I've got a couple programs open here, Adobe Illustrator and Silhouette Studio. I'll be using, using those, um, but our first stop is the Internet. Uh, so I'm going to type in something simple here, like Animal Silhouette, and go to Images. Uh, and then I'm going to go to Search Tools and choose Large. Um, that's going to help us get a more um, specific image. Uh, so I like this little bear guy here. Um, so I'm going to use this, um, and I'm going to save it here. I'm going to copy it and bring it over into Illustrator. Uh, so we'll start out by just opening up a new window in Illust Illustrator. And you'll see this is actually a very large Bear Bro picture. Uh, so back up a little. Um, so our first stop in Illustrator is the Image Trace button here. There's a little drop-down menu. Um, and we're going to use the black and white logo trace. Um, if you have a more complicated picture, you can use one of these other options. Um, but this will work perfectly for us. And voila, it is no longer made of pixels. It is now made of vectors. So we'll hit Expand here. You see all the little dots and paths. Um, and I'm going to right-click ungroup until ungroup stops showing up. It's normally just twice. Um, and then I'll use the magic wand tool to select all of the white, even the inside of the eye here at once, and delete it because we don't want the program cutting it twice. Um, so we'll go to object up here and then compound path and release and the eye kind of looks like it disappears, but it doesn't really, it's still there. Um, and then I'll go to File, Export, and I've got myself a DXF here, AutoCAD Interchange File, and save it as Bear Bro, and there we go, and I'll hit OK. So our next stop is Silhouette Studio, where I'm gonna open up said Bear Bro here, and here we are. Um, so I currently have the grid here set to one to one to mirror the cutting mat, which you'll see in just a moment. Um, that helps us get a good read on how big the sticker is going to be. Um, so I'm gonna bring it up to the top left so I know where it's gonna cut at, and I'm gonna size it down to uh, just about three inches. Um, Holding shift uh, while you resize things um, keeps it in uh, pers perspective, which is which is nice, um, and keeps all the uh, dimensions correct. Uh, and then finally, I'm going to save it to our SD card, which I don't currently have one in. You can also uh, save it to, say, the desktop, um, which I will, will do here. And you click here, and it's saved. And there we are. It should be waiting on the desktop for us. And uh, uh, if you put it directly onto the SD card, that's great too. Um, and then we'll take this over to the Silhouette Cameo in just a second. Cut it out. So we're on to our last step here of putting our bear sticker into, you know, bringing it to life. Um, so I'm going to place the vinyl in the upper left-hand corner, smooth it out. Uh, these are a little tacky, so it should hold the vinyl for us, um, and any hair and dust that you might want to add to it. Uh, and then I'm going to load the cutting mat in. You want to make sure that these corners are lined up with the sides of the cutter. Um, so it loads it in. Then I'm going to check my blade. Uh, it says here that it's on two, which is exactly what I want it to be set on. And then I'll set it back in. And go over here to the SD card settings and select my bear and hit cut. So just take a second and it will start cutting. Finally, I unload, and there it is, and I've got my bear sticker. Uh, so I'll show you in just a second how to weed that out. 
Last bit, you just pull from one of the corners and the vinyl should peel off, leaving behind what you cut. Uh, some of the little interior pieces might stick a little, but if you just tug at them, they'll come off. Uh, you can see I've already pulled the eye out, and there you go. Bear sticker done.